Hello guys, I hope you're all fine. This is the third part of my Complete Beginner series where we are going to create an animation like this one. If you missed the previous part, the link is in the description. In this video, we are going to create the road, texture and shape. So let's go in Blender. Okay, last time we have created the path and we animated the steering and the wheels of the car. So now we are going to take care of the road. So for the road, we are going to start from a plane. So to add a plane, it's Shift A and you have mesh and plane. And now we are going to uh, set this plane at the right dimensions. To see the size of an object, you have to click on this object, you press N, and you go in the item tab here. And here you have the dimensions. So for this road, we are going to create a road which is 14 by 7. And we are going to rotate this road. So for the Z rotation, we write 90 degrees, like this. Okay, now that we have our road, we are going to texture it. For the texture of the road, we will need some files. I will put the link to those files in the description. So here are uh, the files that we will uh, use for the, for the road. Okay, so you click on the plane you just created, then you go in shading. In shading, uh, be sure that you are in a material preview mode here, and you click new to create the first node, the principal BSDF, and the material output. We already saw that in part one, we could give a color to the, to the road, but in this case, we are going to use an image for the base color, and this is the image I just uh, gave you. So download the files, and you are going to use first the base color image. So you drag and drop this base color. And because we want this base color to be the base color of, the, our, of uh, our object, you just have to link the color to the base color, like this. And now you already see that we have a road. But of course, to uh, give more details to the road, we are going to add some puddles, for example, and some, uh, some details. Then the other image that you are going to, to use is the roughness. So here, I just drag and drop the roughness image here, and we are going to plug the color to the roughness of the object, like this. So instead of doing it manually, I'm using an image, a map. So see, so here, as you can see, we already have like a, a, a wet road, but it's, it's a little bit too glossy. It looks like a mirror, so we will have to fix that. Okay, now we are going to use another image which is the normal. So you drag and drop the normal and we will have to connect the normal to the normal here. But in order to do that in Blender, we are going to use another node first. This node is called a bump. So shift A to add another node, like, like adding an object. Search and you search for bump. And here you have the bump. I could use this uh, image directly to the normal uh, map and you will have the same result. But you will see that I need to add this bump to have more controls and to add another map. I will show you that in a few seconds. So let's add the color to the normal and then the normal to the normal map here. And as you can see now, I have more details on the road. What I like to do for the paddles on the road, and this is just a personal taste, I like to mix uh, different colors for the base color. And in order to have two colors output here, as you can see, there is only one color output. This is one, only one base color. I have to use another node, which is the uh, mix RGB node. So let's add this node, shift A, search, mix RGB. I plug it here and nothing is changing at the moment or nothing will change. Let me put that to zero. Okay, this is uh, exactly the same. But now I'm going to use the roughness to give even more details to the base color. Here, fact zero means that you take all the information from this image and nothing from this image. So this is not what we want. We want uh, to, to mix uh, those information. So if I do that, as you can see, I'm adding the information that are in the roughness on the base color. It's not looking good because I don't want to use 100% of, of this information or those information. So 
I'm gonna mix it and I think yeah something like that is uh, is okay so 0 0.35 yes and now I'm going to do the same for the roughness. Uh, I mean, I'm going to do the, the same, sorry, for the 8. Here, that's why I, I use a bump map, because I wanted to have this 8, and you will see, I will use the roughness also, the roughness map, in the 8. And now, as you can see, I have a lot of details on the road and maybe some, some cool paddles. But of course, uh, right now, the, the effect is maybe a little bit too much. So I will lower that. And to lower that, because we used a bump node, now it's easy to do so. We just have to lower the value. So if we put, for example, 0, 1. Yes, it's cool. Maybe it's a little bit uh, too much. I will use 0 0.09, for example. OK, uh, now I think our road uh, looks uh, pretty cool and we can uh, continue on the next step. Okay, now we are going to take care of the shape of the road. So we go about in a layout workspace and let's go in a material preview mode. And here we are going to move the road under the car. So it's a, sh a G and shift Z as usual. Maybe uh, like this. Now, as you can see, our road is a little bit uh, too small for our, for our shape. And in order to duplicate the road, we are going to use a modifier. And what is a modifier? It's like an add-on that you add on your object in order to change its properties. Its shape, is its uh, lens here, the physics, its shape, or you can duplicate it, or you can modify different properties. So here, what we want to do is, so we, you click on the road, you click on this uh, little key, modifier properties, you click on add modifier, and we are going to use an array modifier. And as you can see, now we have a duplicate the road. On the factor X, we are going to put minus one. And now it's going on the right direction. So according to the length of our path, we will need more cones. So here on cones, you just raise the value to whatever we need, maybe something like that. Let me check. Yeah, maybe two more. Okay. But now the issue is if I play my animation spacebar, as you can see, my shape is uh, my path is going out of the road. So this is not good. We have to fix that. For now, the road is not following our path. And if we want the road to follow our path, we have to use another modifier. So we click on the road, you click on add modifier, and here you have the curve modifier. You click that, and the modifier is asking you, okay, what object do we want to follow? And here we just have to follow our path. And now, as you can see, the road is following, the shape of the road is following our path, so that's cool. But here, you see it's not very smooth, we have some, uh, hard, we have some hard angles. It's because our road is just, is just a plane at the moment, and there is no um, cuts, and there is nothing to play with. So in order to fix that, we are going to go in edit mode. You just click on your road, and you press tab, or here you go in edit mode. And when you're here, we are going to uh, divide the road. So it has some uh, cuts to play with. And here you are going on uh, loop cut. So it's control R, control R or loop cut. So you click on loop cut. Here we select here. And in this little window, you click on the arrow. And the number of cuts, maybe we want 16 cuts. I think is okay. And you press enter. And now you have 16 cuts on the road. And then you press tab again. And if you check now the angles, as you can see, now it's smooth because we have a lot of cuts to play with. So let's check the animation. Oh, 
Okay, cool. <laughs> Now we have uh, our road ready. Okay, guys, uh, that's it for today. In the next part, we are going to take care of the scene setup, the barriers, the streetlights, and the trees. Thank you for watching, and I see you soon. Bye-bye.